Welcome back, everybody. Welcome to the show. Today, uh, still doing a fishing video, just not, you know, not fishing. But I'm um, showing you what I got from Cabela's today because I am pretty stoked, excited, ecstatic, whatever other words you could think of for excited. I. I absolutely love Cabela's. I love that store. I mean, I would live in that store if I could. Um, but yeah, I'm running. I mean, I could have done this on the couch, but it's a little more comfortable doing it. I'm on the table right now, on the kitchen table. Uh, I can tell my. That's from when me and Norelli got married. And uh, my things are falling out here. But, so, Cabela's Hall. There it is. All right. So you know what? We're going to get into it. Sorry, I don't have a lot of space right now. So I'm trying to crunch crunch my big head into this frame here while listening to some crazy child. And uh, so I think what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is um, I'm gonna show you guys it. Uh, I'm not going to talk a lot about it. Um, right, like... Like I'll show you guys what I got, and then I'll I'll go back to why I pick things out. I think that's that's how I'm gonna do it. Sorry, shaking the camera. But anyway, guys, so I was looking for a VMC Tokyo rig set. They didn't have any, unfortunately, but um, I got a couple of these hooks because I needed them uh, for what I got. It's VMC, as you can tell, heavy duty swim bait. Um, those are gonna be real helpful. 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 Because I do have, I already have a couple heavy dude, heavier swim baits. And I also bought some bigger ones too as well. Um, I got. I know my, I'll show you guys my hooks first. I got my hooks. This is spare the suspense for, uh, you know, for my actual lures. But I got a couple bigger underspin jig heads. I have some really small ones for like micro fishing pretty much. Um, but uh, yeah, these are 3 8 ounce uh, underspin jig heads. Um, once again, bought them for my swim baits. I have, I bought a pack of swim baits that these will work perfect on. And I also have swim baits already that these will work absolutely perfect on. And then I got these because, um, sorry, Olivia's it's been extra silly today. But I bought these um, two. I also got some smaller swim baits. You'll see those in a minute. Uh, I think that's all on hooks. Yeah. So, anyway, got, here we go, a Zara Spook from Head On, uh, frog pattern. And, uh, yeah, got, here we go. Here's one of the swim baits I bought. Shorter one, uh, what is it, 3.8, 3.8. So not super huge swim baits. Might be good for when, you know, excuse me, the fishing's a little bit tougher. Maybe they're not committing to bigger baits. These are the bigger ones I bought. Bought them in a different color. Bought the uh, Storm Kicking Minnow. I've always wanted to try these out, and I never really, like, I never committed to buying them. But I've always wanted to try them out, so. Got some Rage Tail. Um, what are these, Smoking Roosters? Um. And last thing, I got some Rage Tail. Um, Structure bug. So I'll I'll open these up to show you guys. Um, it's hard to see it through the package. Um, there's probably a glare because of the lights and all that. In fact, you know what? Let's see. That might be a little bit better. Turn off that light there. Okay. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna open up the uh, smoking rooster first for you guys, so you guys can see that. Um, 
yeah, I picked this out. I mean, they're just, they're really unique looking uh, bait. They come in plastic, which I like. Keep them a little bit fresher. But yeah, really unique looking bait. Obviously, I got to pull off all the, uh, the tail before. And, uh, so yeah, just kind of a unique looking bait. I wanted to try them out. I wanted to try more plastic fishing this year. I don't want the scent to come off him too much, so. But yeah, I mean, that's, they come, uh, you can think one, two, three, four, five, six. Six in a package, and I, I think they were five ninety nine. So pretty much, you know, pretty much a buck a, a buck a lure. So there, there's those. But yeah, just really unique looking bait, and uh, the other rage tail says this too. Um, coffee scent. These are coffee scented, and yes, I can smell. It smells like coffee. It's weird. I've never had a plastic lure smell like coffee. I don't know if that's gonna help. I don't know if that's gonna hurt it or or what. I don't know. But um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I'm actually I'm planning. Even though I probably won't catch anything, I'm planning on doing a video where I use all of these. Um, I do need to get a pretty giant bird's nest out of my reel. I'll be back, people. Okay. Sorry for the little interruption. You know, it'll feel like a few seconds. I'll edit that out. But uh, in short, Olivia is trying to climb on stuff. Anyway, here's the uh, here's the structure bug from Rage Tail. This one doesn't really have that heavy of a coffee scent like the um, like the Smoking Rooster. The Smoking Rooster smells a lot like coffee, but uh, there's actually seven in this pack. So once again, you know these come the the appendages come uh, kind of kind of stuck together tiny the tiniest scent of coffee I can pick up but it, you know this will look like a either a minnow or a, a crawfish or I don't know yeah I mean it's meant to look like a crawfish but you know whatever they think it is as long as they'll bite it right I don't mind as long as they bite it which I think they will I got a pretty good feeling about these ones um, Actually, I got a, I got a pretty good feeling about the smoking roosters because yeah. I don't know. You know, usually I try to. Uh, it's not really antisocial, but um, usually I try to fish when there's really not a lot of activity going on on the water, not a lot of you know other anglers out. Just because, just because I I like to fish and like, not really solitude because I love fishing with people like friends and stuff. I love going fishing with friends. It's just some anglers, like I've run into problems where some anglers are just not really considerate of the person next to them trying to fish. So I mean, yeah, I mean, I'll be, there's been times where I'm trying to fish and the guy next to me gets weeds on his lure and he's slamming his lure into the water. And I'm like, dude, you know, Try to fish her, you know. Be scaring away the fish for me. Or if they just what really gets me is when they're on the other side of the shoreline and they left all their stuff back. Like back in another spot pretty much and then they get mad when you fish that spot. It's like, dude, you're not there. So Anyway, I'm uh, getting off track. That'll be another video. What really bugs me when people are fishing. Another reason why I want to open the um, the spook and the storm minnow. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check the hooks as well because yeah, they're pretty strong. I mean, right out of the package, they say you should really change the hooks. Um, 
just because you don't know what kind of torment they've been through, uh, you know, coming out of the factory, but... I mean, they, they feel pretty strong on this one. But uh, here's what the pattern looks like on the spook. Uh, you can tell it's frog pattern. Got the frog eye. And uh, if you're just getting into fishing and you're watching my channel, which, sorry, let's move the camera a little bit, which I hope you are, because that would be awesome if I'm helping out, you know, first-time anglers. That would be awesome. Uh, spooks, you know, when they move through the water, it's a walking bait. So when you're, you're twitching it, it goes like like side to side like it's like when this switch is on the water it's gonna go like like more like that kind of more like that so uh like great addition to uh my top water i think i've always wanted a spook i've never bought a spook i've always had spook like tight baits but i've never actually bought like a spook like this style spook so um like, I bought walking baits before, but not, not really like this. So, uh, and you can hear, you know, when it... Oh, no, that's just the hooks. I thought this one had a rattle in it. It's just the hooks, but... That'll make a good noise in the water. I track to uh, track the fish to it. Um, make it seem like an injured fish or, a, you know, a fleeing frog, something like that. So, yeah. Um, hooks feel strong, so that's good. Almost dropped it. Um, what's next? What should I open next? I'll open the storm minnow next. And yeah, like I said, I've always wanted one of these storm kicking minnows. I've always wanted to try them. I love fishing swim baits. Those, you know, minnow baits, like those kind of baits. I love fishing them. They're really fun to fish. You can do a lot with them. A uh, lot of different presentation you can do with them. Feels a little flimsy out of the package. Um, that could just be because most of this bait is rubber. But as you can see here, it's got these um, slits in the body on both sides. Uh, see right there. So the so, and then it's got this lip. It's a plastic lip. So when you're pulling it through, it's gonna you know it's gonna look like it's swimming. So let's check, let's check the hooks on this one. Ah, be careful when you're checking your hooks because uh, my finger slipped and got a point to the, to the finger. These feel pretty strong as well, so that's good. Um, no blood, so that's good. It didn't, it just poked me. But um, yeah, so I kind of can't wait to try this out. Um, <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So I think on Thursday, I think on Thursday, I might um, go out and make a video. No, there's hooks up here. Um, make a vi <laughs> make a video of... Um, did you just spit your water? Yeah, you did. Well, you're going to have to wait because you need to learn to stop doing that. Um, oh, she wants candy. Anyway, guys, you know, I didn't know Olivia was actually making this video. Say hi, Olivia. Okay. Go on. Oh, focus. There we go. Um, so, yeah, I might go out Thursday and just kind of try them all. Uh, just see how they feel, how the action feels. Um, things like that. Maybe get lucky and get a fish. I don't know. Fish, you know, fish with them for 20 minutes each. We'll see. It's such a good smell. That plastic. Um, it almost smells like, almost smells like licorice. But I, so this is the bigger the two plastic swim baits. Just they're just your uh, your normal paddle tail swim baits. Um, yeah. So you just put these hooks through and on the lawn and then here's the uh here's a smaller swim bait color yeah i got one more natural to where we're at like a bluegill this is kind of more like a bluegill color and then i got a um 
uh, like a blue one. These these short ones will work really good for um, like spinnerbait trail as well. Put a little paddle tail on the end of a spinnerbait, make it give it a little, that little extra oomph on the uh, presentation. And uh, yeah, so I didn't even think about that actually. I just thought about that now. I didn't think about this when I was buying these. I was just like, yeah, I'll get two sizes. Um, you know, they got two sizes. I'll get both sizes. And uh, yeah, I didn't even, oops. I didn't even think about that until now. Ugh, sorry, drop some, Ugh. drop some garbage. Don't wanna, don't want little Miss Olivia grabbing hold of it. She's still in the phase of putting everything in her mouth. So, get these uh, swim baits put away. I know this isn't. Uh, hopefully, you guys are having fun watching this. I'm having fun doing this, actually. Um, put these guys over here. My spooking uh, kicking minnow. Sorry, the washing machine's going. Um, but here's the. Uh, Here's those underspits, kind of bigger. I got them for the bigger ones, and you know, I got, I got even bigger ones than the. Excuse me, sorry guys. Uh, I actually have bigger ones than these, so I mean, these will actually work really well with these. Um, they won't work really good with the small ones. The hook's too big. Um, but, you know, I got a couple sizes, but you know, it's got that nice, uh, that nice. I think these are be called little leaf, but um, yeah, nice underspin uh, for my uh, what's it called swim bait. Um, so you know, in these these underspins, they're gonna have more than just swim bait. I mean, I could, in all honesty, I mean. If you want to get creative, you could take one of the rage tails, put this on there, and just bounce it off the bottom. Um, if you want to get creative, see if that works. I mean, I know probably some of you are like, "What? Well, you never do that. But, you know, seriously, fishing is all about finding what the fish haven't seen yet. And, you know, what they haven't seen yet and trying to get them to bite it, you know? Um, you know, it's just trying new things all the time. Say hi. Okay, yes, I will give you more. Uh, she's uh, yeah, a little crazy. But, uh, here are these, uh, smaller hooks I got for spinner bait or, or um, for swim bait or my plastics. These are the Gamagatsus. Gamagatsus. Um, Three-aught. Three-aught hook uh, with a little screw. A little, little screw doohickey. There we go. On the, on the end really hold that bait in place and just yeah and then last thing my VMC hooks I'll show you what they look like out of the package There we go. It's got like a, it's got a weight in the middle. Keep that swim bait nice and even. Once again, it's got these uh, little, little screw heads on there. There we go. Those little screw heads. Keep that bait or uh, that swim bait on the hook, and keep that swim bait nice and even coming through across the water. And um, yeah, that's it. So I mean, I think what I'm most excited about. Are there is this guy right here because I've never fished one 
Um, just really anxious to try it out, I guess. And also, actually, probably, I would say it's probably a tie between the uh, smoking rooster and the kicking and minnow. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's my haul, guys. That's my that is my Cabela's haul. It is time now to uh, reorganize the tackle box because it's getting a little bit messy, and uh, you know, reorganize the tackle bag. Try to get that big, huge bird's nest out of my reel that I put in it. Um, what was that last week? Mouse fishing. And yeah, that's about it, guys. Oh, it's good. A lot of talking. Woo! Get me a, get me yawny. But um, that's about it, guys. Hey, look, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I had fun with it. I hope you guys did as well. Um, hey, you know, get into fishing, guys. If you're not into it already, please just get into it. There's nothing like it. It's it's a good sport, it's a good hobby. It teaches you patience, teaches you perseverance, teaches you everything. Not everything, but you know, it teaches you a lot. It really does. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it. It's gonna be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Patreon if you choose to do that. Uh, support the channel in that way. I'm on Patreon. Patreon.com slash Jones in for fun. Excuse me. So if you choose to support the channel that way, everything's going right back into the channel. Help bring you guys better content. You can always support me by subscribing. It's a free thing. Just hit that subscribe button for me if you haven't already. And um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, I hope you guys had a good New Year. I hope you guys were, everybody was safe. Hopefully nobody drank and drive. Um, yeah, that's about it. And you know what I say, guys, especially if you go out on the water fishing, stay safe and be safe. I'm going to see you guys next time.